I found a bunch of these on Amazon, but they are just too long. The nozzle is 12 and a half millimeters long, and as you can see, it's supposed to be 10 millimeters. So we need to shorten it. Now, I bought five of these. I bought a whole bunch, five all together, and I think it was less than $10, which makes these $2 a piece. And I cannot make them for $2 a piece. So it's a whole lot easier to take it from 12 and a half down to 10 millimeters. Let's begin. My smallest lathe is too big for this part. So I'm gonna set this little tiny part up in the mill. There is the part, there is the chuck. So let's get it set up. So here's where it gets a little tricky. I'm setting the height to the end of my nozzle. What I'm going to do is, once I know where this is, zero, I'm going to go down a hundred thousandths. If I change it to millimeters and I go down two and a half, which is right there, that is ninety-eight thousandths. So about a hundred, two thousandths is going to make a difference. It's actually one and a half. So I'm going to set it to a hundred thousandths and we'll go from there. Check that again. We are right there. We're just a little over 10 millimeters. So you can see it's 0.16. So how much is 0.16 millimeters? It is six thousandths of an inch. In other words, I'm not gonna worry about it. While I have this set up, I'm gonna go ahead and run the other four that I have. I'm going to put the drill bit back in now. This is not the proper way to do it. But what I'm doing on this particular project, this will be just fine. And if we take a look at the original ones, you'll notice that there is a bevel right inside to lead the filament in. Well, we want to put that right back in and I'm actually going to give it a little bit more uh, because of the angle of that drill bit. Alright, now it's just a light touch. So here's, on the right is the way that I purchased them, on the left is the modified. You can see that is down to where it should be. And we could take a look at the ends, you'll see that I've got just a little bit more bevel, more chamfer than the originals. So that should help lead the plastic filament in there nice and easy. Now I just got to do it with the rest. So while we're here modifying this these nozzles if you look at the very tip most of you will be familiar that that the hole in that tip is 0.4 millimeters so i'm thinking wouldn't it be cool to have a nozzle that is one millimeter in diameter for the little mono price so what i'm going to do is i've already set up another nozzle i've got to put a precision chuck on here it'll be a chuck inside of a chuck and we're going to open it up to this diameter this is a number 60 drill which is just uh, about one millimeter. That is it. It is just that quick. 
let's take a look the before and after i'm not sure if the camera can capture it and here we have one of the newly modified nozzles in the monoprice select mini and i am very happy with the result uh, this particular nozzle is the one millimeter in diameter and i'm using a 0.6 layer height which is why you see coarseness in the print but it worked perfectly no problems no hiccups no clogging no issues thank you all for watching please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and if you have any questions or comments please put them in the comment line below i do read them all and i do respond thanks again